So we have before, it looks like this, and now it looks like this. See how we have this blur happening. This is what it looks like. Hello everyone. So if you do a normal zoom on this kind of shot where you just use the scale. So we're playing, playing, playing. <laughs> let's uh, let's make that a little bit faster. So it's, it just looks kind of crappy. What we're trying to do is make that not look so cheap. I drag and drop a transform and the transform will add the motion blur. So I drag and drop it onto my clip. We go here to the effects panel on this side. If you do not see this, make sure you hit effects up here. If your clip's like this and you're in the color page like me, because I'm a professional. <laughs> into the editing page, if you can't find transform, go to this tab here, hit effects, type in transform. If you're finding this video useful, like and subscribe, thanks. Find the point where you want it to zoom. So I want it to zoom there where the shoe is uh, parallel. And then you hit the scale keyframe. And you also go to the shutter angle and you type in 360. From there, you move it a little bit forward and let's zoom it in. And I don't want it to be in this position. So what I want to do is go to that point where it starts the zoom. So here on this, in line with this same keyframe and I'm gonna hit position. I'm gonna to go to the last keyframe and I'm gonna move it here to where I want the last frame to be. So I want the shoe to be in the center. So if we go back now, we should have a nice zoom with a motion blur on it. I mean, that looks exactly the same as the other one. Let's make it a little bit slower, shall we? Shall we? So we can actually see the motion blur on it. See how we have this blur happening. This is what it looks like. Anyways, that was my really quick tutorial because I'm ill. Peace, take it easy, see you in the next video and ciao.